three, he didn't exert executive privilege over any contents of the report. He was transparent. He had nothing to hide. The Justice Department informing House Republicans President Biden will not release the audio of his interview with special counsel Robert Hur, claiming executive privilege. It's a move the DOJ says effectively shields Attorney General Merrick Garland from any criminal exposure as Republican lawmakers push to hold Garland in contempt. Cognitively impaired, incompetent, unable to stand trial even though he broke the law. So the Department of Justice decides that they won't go after him for those reasons. And if that's true, we need to hear the audio tape. You're going to be able to understand if he truly is that cognitively impaired, if he truly has those problems, if he cannot deal with these issues, if he didn't know what he is doing, we are going to learn a lot more. And by the way, if it's no big deal, as the other side says, because we have the transcripts, Well, we do have the transcripts, so why do you care so much about us getting the audio? What's the big deal? Would the gentleman yield for an answer? I just want to finish this first. I will yield. We already have the transcripts, so why don't we have the audio? Because we can find out whether he is in that much trouble, if the country is in that much trouble. This has got nothing to do with what's going on in New York. This has to do with what's going on right here in the White House in Washington, D.C. with this president. Or if he is not cognitively impaired, if he is with it, if he is capable, capable, then he broke the law as vice president and as a U.S. senator, not allowed to take these classified materials out, kept them in a garage by his home next to a collapsed dog kennel, and then use them. I want everybody to understand that. Then use them, read them to his ghostwriter to use in his multi-million dollar book deal. Was he competent? Did he know what he was doing when he made this deal and used these papers to make money on the presidency? That's what we need to know. That's why we're going through all this. It's got nothing to do with the other stuff. And that's what we need to find out. The gentleman yield now. And that's why I will in one moment. And that's why we're having this discussion. Because this committee has an oversight responsibility and needs to know that. But it's not only the committee. Most importantly, the American people need to know it. We need to know if we have an incompetent, incoherent president or if we have a president that is being helped through the two-tier system of justice again, just like they tried to help his son. Justice for thee, not for me. God help us, the American people, whomever are watching and listening to this, don't have those opportunities, but he keeps getting them over and over again. Which is it? I know it's a bad spot for you folks. I get it. It's a really uncomfortable place to be. But we need to find out the truth. And I yield to the gentleman from Cal. Actually, you, um, yeah. I'll yield to you, the gentleman from Cal. Thank you. Uh, I just want to comment the following. Uh, the special prosecutor decided that there was no uh, reason to prosecute for his own good reasons. He stated them in his report. He made what I regard as a gratuitous smear of the president by his comment on cognitive impairment. We will see. We don't need the transcript to see if the president is cognitively impaired. The president speaks all the time. There are going to be two debates. The American people can decide whether the president is cognitively impaired. They can decide whether his opponent is cognitively impaired. They're going to see plenty of uh, evidence of that in the debates and in the campaign. So we don't need the transcript to know whether the president is cognitively impaired or not. The evidence is going to be before the American people. I reclaim my gentleman for yielding. I reclaim my time. And look, this doesn't have anything to do with the debate. So I get it. And I know everybody's going to enjoy him, me included. But this has to do with the actions that took place regarding classified materials. And either, as the special prosecutor said, he is cognitively impaired and unfit for trial, or he knowingly did this and made money off of it. I yield back to Mr. Nels. I think Mr. Nels yields back to me.